Yeah, 10 hours in some cases. So we'll continue to talk about this right now. Some of you might be just be waking up and, and not realizing this is this accident that Vanessa touched on uh, on westbound I-10. So this particular camera is at Mountain Home West, mile marker 481. But again, we saw another camera, what, 20-something miles ahead at mile marker 503. Same picture. So Fox San Antonio's Amanda Henderson is at the scene there. She's pulled off to the side, obviously, here. And you've been talking to family members and, and just trying to get as much information as you can. So, Amanda, what can you tell us right now? I can tell y'all in the two hours we've been out here, traffic has not moved once. And again, you have all mentioned it, but if you're coming from San Antonio to Kerrville, do not do it. It is not worth it. You are going to get stuck in this traffic. I'm going to show you guys just how far it goes. It goes over that hill and where those cars curve. We cannot see beyond that. It is just an absolute standstill. One quick note to mention the the road on the opposite side. So that would be 10 east heading into San Antonio. We were wondering why we haven't seen any cars. Well, we just got off the phone with another vehicle, a group of people who is stuck on I-10 East uh, just past Junction. They say that there is traffic over there as well. So we're working to learn more about that. But over here on I-10 West, we did talk with Julie McCorkle whose husband Mike is stuck in this traffic. She says he has a good attitude about it, but it has been a very difficult night. He's been stuck since 7 p.m. and I want you to take a listen to how she says he's been trying to make it. He finally got a couple of hours of sleep um, and uh, it's still, it's like I said, still sitting there about down to a quarter of a tank of gas uh, since midnight. He's been turning the car on and off every 15 minutes to try to, try to conserve the gas that he has. I've been texting with the Kerr County Sheriff all morning to learn more about when this could all open up. He says technically, just to be clear, I-10 is not closed. It's just because of these crashes. People have been backed up, and so they're still trying to de-ice the roads to help people get up the hill that you see right behind me and clear all of this right here. So that way, when people start driving again, it won't be as dangerous of conditions. They want to make sure it's safe before people are going back and, and going through I-10. And because it's so hilly out here, they have to do a little bit more just because it is colder up here in the hill country than it is down in San Antonio. So or, or up in San Antonio, I guess. So we'll keep updated on this and we'll make sure that we get you guys the very latest, both on air and online. But again, in the two hours we've been out here, we have not seen one car move. Back to you.